Thank you so much, Wellness and Peplo, for sponsoring this video. I'm committed to showing you how to teach your dog with, with free, modern dog training advice. Help me continue this mission by supporting this channel on Patreon. If your dog is just a little bit too enthusiastic about greeting you or other people, this is the video for you. Zeus, I have to teach you how not to jump in front of thousands of people, so I need your help here. Click thumbs up for Zeus, the wild Belgian Shepherd. Subscribe to my channel. Get a copy of my book, too, and make it your handy go-to guide anytime you've got a question about raising your new dog. You know, I got to meet Zeus not that long ago, and needless to say, he's got a ton of energy. He doesn't know his teeth are as big as they are. The idea of the treats is to keep you from jumping, not to encourage you to jump. And these grain-free crunchy well bars are awesome. These are peanuts and honey. How often do you come across dog treats that smell good? Wellness is one of my absolute favorite brands. This is the lamb and apples recipe, Zeus. And he's devouring these things. When you have a good treat like this, your dog will be very focused. Down. Wow. If you've ever been curious about a raw diet and you want a way to introduce a raw meat to your dog, these Wellness Core 100% meat freeze-dried snacks are awesome. They are literally single ingredient treats. So the boar ones are 100% boar. You can tell that is real boar. Impressive, that's healthy stuff. You know dogs are gonna love that. The salmon ones, 100% salmon. They even have turkey and beef ones too. This is so healthy, you're gonna live forever, man. You can use them as treats or as a tasty topper for your dog's regular meal. These are quality ingredients. They're good tasting. Zeus, you're gonna have to earn these, buddy. As with any raw product, you'll want to wash your hands after feeding them. You're not gonna find corn, soy, wheat, or artificial colors and flavors in any of these all-natural snacks. And you can get them all shipped to you from PetFlow. I'll have a special link in the description. I'll also have a coupon code that'll give you $10 off your first three orders when you elect to have your dog's food automatically shipped to you too. There's a few things we need to consider before teaching a dog like Zeus not to jump. No, you just drank water. You are so drooly right now. No, Zeus, I love you. But I love you. We, got, you know, we have a video to shoot here. You're not making me look good right now. First, make sure that you're providing regular, intense mental stimulation if you've got a dog like Zeus. Because look at him. I mean, he's super wired right now. And that's not because he's a bad dog. If you'll sit, I'll give you a treat. Let's try this, okay? We sit. Yes. Oh, and you're taking the treat so much more gently now. I appreciate that. So does my hand. Whoa, gosh, okay, Zeus, you're so big. He's just dying to engage with me, and that's a good thing. In fact, that's something we're gonna use to our advantage in today's lesson, I hope. Next, all of this excess energy can make it really challenging for a dog like Zeus to listen to me. I mean, think about it. He was bred to herd sheep for hours on end. Now he's just got a normal life in the suburbs, which is totally fine, but we have to find other ways to make sure that our dog is satisfied mentally and physically. We human beings, we made them like this, so we have a responsibility to keep them satisfied. Fortunately, fetch early in the day and just before training will likely do the trick if you've got a high energy dog. I'll have a video in the description that'll show you how to teach your dog a perfect game of fetch. The reason dogs jump like this in the first place is because they like to greet us at the face. They want to say hello and really interact with us. Now, if you're struggling with teaching your dog how not to jump, your issue isn't that your dog, no, don't, don't bite my ankles, dude. Your issue isn't that you have a jumping dog. The issue is that you haven't taught your dog how to sit and stay when they're excited. We're gonna see how Zeus's sit stay is looking. Sit. Oh. That was kind of a disaster, Zeus. Now you can clearly see how teaching a dog like Zeus to sit and stay is different than many of the other dogs I work with. I mean, he's bigger, he's stronger, he's more intense. His mind is going a million miles an hour. That was a good sit. Stay. Okay, good job. His focus is really strong. With dogs like this, you have to constantly engage them during a training session. And if you're new, that's not very natural. So you'll have to be extra patient until you acquire the skill. Here's a good example, teaching your dog to leave it. The second I put the treat in front of him, he's trying to get it. So you've gotta be really quick about being one step ahead of him. Oh, back here, sit, nope. And see, I mean, I'm pulling away. At, you, you can see it in his eyes. Dogs will foreshadow very obviously if you know what you're looking for. And as you get to know your dog, yes, then you'll be able to predict that. That was a good leave it. Right there, I rewarded him because he left it alone for a little bit longer than he was on the prior attempts. Just doing exercises like this build communication between you two. That's why I do leave it with almost every dog that I work with. And that's good because he needs some impulse control. A lot of it. I often use turkey or chicken when I'm training. These are really extra convenient though because they're dry, they're not wet. These are really good to store around the house if you have a new dog and you need to get treats really fast. Having your dog stay like this when you're completely focused on them, that's one thing. Of course, getting them to pull the sit-stay when things get more exciting, 
well, that's a tougher thing to accomplish. So if I'm acting ridiculous, Zeus obviously gets excited and starts playing and biting and all of that other stuff. So we're gonna work up to this. Yes. Good, so I provided a distraction. You might have noticed there, it was subtle, but I got his eyes on me too by making a little sound. Yes, good job. Just practicing is going to make things a lot easier when the real life situations present themselves. You don't wait until you have company over or you're in public to then attempt to work on this. Sit, good, stay. Yes, stay. Yeah, now that's a home run. Now, if I tell Zeus to stay and I throw this toy, he's likely gonna go and chase it. So let's see if we can improve that just a little bit. Up here, yes, good. Stay. Stay. Ah. Good correction, sir, yes. That's what I mean. Dogs like this, even though he's really hyper, did you see how he stopped mid-stride when I said ah, as he went to go for it? So he really self-corrected there, and that's very good. It's natural for a dog to be confused when you're telling them to stay and there's something exciting going on. It's not reasonable to expect a dog that's only been on this planet less than two years to just understand they're supposed to be good. Stay. Yeah, good boy. Up here, look at me, please. Yeah, oh, you're on the right track now. You want your dog to exercise self-control in so many different circumstances, especially exciting ones. Stay. Ah, ah, ah. Yes. I'm gonna get on the ground and start acting ridiculous now because that's gonna be even tougher for him. Stay. Good. Looks like he thought about breaking there, so I wanna make sure I reward him before he breaks. And again, even though this is teaching stay, this is central to teaching a dog not to jump in the beginning stages. And I'm able to pet Zeus right now, give him a little bit of love, and he's not jumping on me. Hey, have a well bar. It's really impressive. Let me see if I can do that. No. If you know that you've got guests coming over, exercise your dog just before guests arrive. And make sure they're on a leash or in another room so that you can minimize or prevent the jumping from occurring in the first place. And once your guests are settled, bring out your dog and practice sit and stay in front of them. Have them pet your dog, and if your dog attempts to jump, simply intervene and redirect them into a sit or lie down like we did earlier. Yes, that's how you do a redirect, right? Uh, sit. It's your responsibility to do this training, not your guests. A lot of people are tempted to have their guests do their training, but your dog needs to learn to listen to you when they're excited. Click thumbs up for Zeus. Get the treats I used in today's video from Petflow. I'll have a link in the description and subscribe to my channel for more great dog training content and help us fund more videos just like this. I'll have my Patreon link in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see ya in the next video.